Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a beginner's guide answering your questions about what battle pet breeds are and how they affect you. If you've ever heard anyone talking about SS bunnies and wondering why exactly people are looking for Nazi rabbits, this should clear things up. What is a battle pet breed? To back up a little, let's look at the stats of a battle pet. You've got a number for its health, which is how much damage it can take before it dies. You have its attack, which influences how much damage it does in each of its attacks. And there's the speed, which determines whether you or the enemy pet go first. If you have the same speed as the enemy, a hidden roll determines which goes first. A battle pet's breed determines its stat weights between health, speed, and power. Let's go on a journey with a little metaphor here. Imagine all arctic hares come out into the world as identical baby bunnies. They all have the same stats. Waiting for them as they wiggle into the world are two fairies, who each bestow a stat blessing onto the precious baby bunny. A fairy can give the bunny extra health, extra speed, extra attack, or she can split her blessing between the three. The blessing given by each fairy makes up for one half of its breed. If the first fairy granted health and the other granted power, you have yourself an HP bunny. If both fairies granted speed, you've got an SS bunny, which is very, very fast. The letters on the breed tell you where the stat bonuses are. H is health, P is attack, S is speed, and a B bonus is evenly split between the three. So how do I see my pet's breed? To figure out exactly which breed of pet you've got, there's a few options. You can use an add-on such as Pet Tracker's Breeds module, or just look the pet up on Wowhead. However, needing to know the specific breed of every pet isn't really necessary, and personally, I don't do either of these things in my day-to-day. -day. This brings us to our next question. When does pet breed matter? Usually, it doesn't. However, having the perfect breed of pet for your situation makes pet battles smoother. In some cases, the right breed makes or breaks a fight. The first situation in which breeds matter are when you're trying to make a speed breakpoint. Unlike with health or attack, where more is always better, speed is only useful up to a certain point. If possible, you want to have more speed than the pet you're fighting so you go first, but any extra speed past that point is wasted. That's why in some of my videos, you'll hear that you need a bunny or a frog or whatever with at least X amount of speed. Less than that and you don't go first, which ruins abilities like Flurry and can lose you the fight. Having way more speed than you need though isn't great either because that means you're working with lower health and attack just to have all that speed. When we're doing PvE pet battles, we know exactly how fast the enemy pet is. If it's important that we're faster, then the best breed is the one that puts your speed higher than theirs by the smallest margin possible. The second situation where breed is important is when we're looking at a tanky pet. These are your snails, frogs, and other pets with naturally high health, mitigation armors, and self-healing. When your goal is to outlast an enemy pet, having a high health breed becomes valuable. In all other cases, particularly with burst pets such as the Nexus Whelpling or the Zandalari Ankle Render, I go for the strongest attack breed I can get my hands on. The faster you kill your enemy, the less time they have to hit you back. When you're racing to kill a pet before their next wish, dodge, or hibernate, more damage becomes everything. What breeds does my pet come in? Not all breeds are available to all pets, and most of the pets that come in a big variety of breeds are wild pets. To see a list of the different breeds that your pet can be, look it up on wowhead.com. What's the best breed of, uh, whatever? The best breed for a pet depends on what its moves are and what you're using it for. If it has moves that are better with speed, then you want a breed with enough speed to make it faster than the pet you're putting it up against. If it's a big damage combo pet like the Nexus Whelpling, then you want a breed with all the attack you can get. If you're using it for PvP, things get more complicated because you can't predict your opponent. For PvE pet battles, the best breed of pet will vary from fight to fight, and having the wrong breed will almost never lose you the match. In any of my strategies where you need a specific breed of pet, I'll let you know in the video what to look for. Most of the time though, whatever you have will probably get the job done. How do I breed battle pets? Right now, you can't. It's not a thing. There's been talk about them adding a battle pet breeding system, but what that would be or how it would work is anybody's guess. There's a good chance that it never happens. For now, breeds are just stat distribution and the only way to get different breeds is to go catch more pets and hope for the best. So that's everything I know about battle pet breeds. If I missed anything, feel free to share in the comments. I hope this helped you get up to speed on breeds. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!